Hello everybody, Raging Donuts on and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to set up a very very simple chunk loading system for your Minecraft 1.13 to 1.13.2 world. Uh, this system works on servers and, and it works with or without Optifine. So as you can see it just said server save the game. I am in fact on a vanilla server right now uh, and no mods installed or anything and this command block right here is simply set to give me points for the scoreboard um, and the objective known as loaded so you can see on the sidebar it says loaded and I'm constantly getting points so normally how chunk generation works in Minecraft is uh, once you leave the chunks so that chunk with that command block once I leave that uh, it will unload that chunk and that command block will uh, no longer process so if I go back a bit further it will eventually unload those chunks Okay, so I've flown back this far, and you can see that command block has stopped working. Uh, it is no longer um, um, uh, working, so as soon as I leave that last chunk, the server has now unloaded that command block, and it's no longer going to do anything. So say you're on a survival server, and you have an iron farm that you want to keep running. Um, if you leave the chunks, or if you go offline, uh, or your friends aren't there, that iron farm will no longer work because the server isn't loading those chunks. So I'm basically going to show you a very, very easy way to keep those chunks loaded uh, and it's all using hoppers. So let me show you guys if I place down this hopper here and then we're going to fly back all the way back. And you should see uh, that that uh, scoreboard on the side, it keeps on going because that command block keeps on being loaded and it is super duper easy. And I want to show you guys how to do it. So it's actually really easy to do. Uh, all you need are a couple of hoppers and some random items just any any old item uh, and time to set it up as well so first thing you need to do is find the world spawn so it's very important that you find the world spawn not your own spawn point so if you have a bed set anywhere in the world uh, go destroy that now uh, so that uh, you, it doesn't set your spawn point once you've done that bring out a compass and this compass will uh, point you in the exact direction of your world spawn. So you can see it's pointing me this way. And oh, it's moving, it's and there. So the world spawn is somewhere in here. If you press uh, F3, if you press F3 and G, it will show you chunk borders. So these are chunks, 16 by 16 block areas. Uh, very useful for this case. So this is the chunk that your world spawn is in. And uh, there is something in Minecraft known as the um, spawn chunks. And spawn chunks are a 16 by 16 area around the world spawn that are always loaded, no matter if anyone is online on the server or not. Uh, so anything within the spawn chunks, you don't have to worry about that. But this is a way to get things to work outside the spawn chunks. So the spawn chunks are approximately or are 16 by 16 area. So come to this block and then count out seven chunks. Uh, so come this chunk here and then count seven chunks out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the seventh chunk, this is where we're going to be starting our hopper chain. So all you have to do is, this is really, really simple. Put a block down or dig into the ground and then place a, um, place a hopper, sorry, not like that. Place a hopper facing into that block so the hopper has to be pointing, directing into the chunk, the next chunk. So this is the seventh chunk away from the world spawn and have that point uh, hopper pointing into a block and then dump any old item in it. So it could be a sword, it could be some snow or a raw pork chop. Just put one item in there, just like that. And it really doesn't matter where this hopper is in the world. It can be way underground, it can be way up above uh, and there can be blocks around it, above it in front of it, it really doesn't matter. It just has to exist pretty much. Uh, the only thing to um, be careful of, which, but that's probably not gonna happen is don't have another hopper under it because that will suck out the item. So I don't have like any redstone uh, interfering with that, but that is all you have to do. This is really, really simple. Even though this chunk that I'm in right now is outside the uh, spawn chunks. So it wouldn't normally be loaded once I left the game. That hopper is causing it to be loaded. So, by having a bunch of these hoppers with items in them, chained, always running into chunks like this, it will allow uh, any chunks to be loaded as far out as you want. You could have this chain go out infinitely long, uh, though you'd have to be careful not to crash the server because keeping all these chunks loaded 
uh, can be hard on the server and then this command will always be loaded and as soon as I break this chain uh, this chunk will no long, longer be loaded once I leave the game and uh, and this score here will stop going on and it doesn't have to be vertical either you could uh, come right to the middle here and suddenly you could decide oh my friend's base is that way I want to load it so put down some hoppers there you can put one there you could even put one here and there it doesn't matter it just has to point point into the uh, the actual chunk here so you can see if I uh, if I come over here and take this command lock uh, hold control and the middle click on it that will give you the exact same NBT if I break that the scoreboard will start working and now let's come over here so say we've just decided to go this way uh, and then this chunk is currently being processed so we can place down a command block it'll start going again and uh, so as soon as we leave say I uh, teleport to uh, let's go to a thousand blocks that way yes. Uh, this is what 10 and then a thousand blocks that way the uh, the command block will be still loaded because those hoppers are keeping the command block loaded so yeah uh, that was pretty much it for this tutorial guys um, I did hope you found it useful it's really really easy and simple to do super useful if you have any farms uh, such as an iron farm it won't work with mob farms though because mob farms depend on a player being in an area uh, mobs cannot spawn uh, with the exception of iron golems unless a player is in that area but this will work for anything such as sugarcane farms or melon farms or, uh, or uh, iron farms uh, so yeah i hope you guys found this tutorial help you helpful uh, if you did consider leaving a like or subscribing uh, if you're not already and i'll see you guys next time goodbye